Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Well, Central Indiana's housing market continues at a red hot pace. So too in many uh, parts of the state. Homes being gobbled up as soon as they hit the market, which has forced consumers to consider another option building a new home. I'm pleased to welcome back to the show Compass of Indiana founding partner and broker Greg Cooper with more on why starting from the ground up also uh, presents its share of challenges. Greg, welcome as always. Awesome to be here, Gary. Hey, uh, okay, I, I mentioned off the top, most difficult and most rewarding uh, time in, the, in the, uh, the housing business for consumers to build homes in 20 years that you've seen. What do you mean by that? Yes. Well, in, in past years, you went to a home builder, uh, they set out your price, they set out your timeline, they gave you a list of options, you made your choices, you move forward, you could have finished the home, you moved in and everybody was really happy. But there is no such thing as a firm timeline or in many cases a firm price because of the availability of products and services and things of that nature right now. So that's the challenge to it. The good news, the positivity, if you will, is that when consumers do go through that product uh, and they are patient and get to the end of the finish line, they've got a wonderful end result uh, despite the fact that there are some challenges along the way. And by the way, it provides them an alternative to make an offers on nine different homes that they never end up buying anyway. It, it allows them certainty that they don't have. Very interesting. I'm going to ask your uh, opinion on the outlook in a moment. But first, inventory has been tight for a long time. It remains tight. And at the beginning of the year, you're saying that's really what's pushed people to say, hey, I can't find a place uh, that I like or that I want. I'm going to build, build new. Yeah, even though you may not have a certainty on your pricing or when exactly that new home might be finished in some cases, you do know what you're going to get and about how long, within a month or whatever it may be, of when you're going to get it. If you're out there making offers on four and five and six and seven resale properties, I mean, the frustration and the emotional toil and all of that uncertainty, it's far less palpable and tolerable for consumers than actually sitting down with a home builder and saying, this is what I want, can you help me? Hey, give us an idea, Greg. It's, it's, it's very difficult everywhere around the country because of the supply chain uh, issues. But as you look here in central Indiana and around the state, uh, what's that done? I know builders can't get product. They can't get uh, what they need to build or to finish homes. Right. Well, just imagine, if you will, hundreds and even thousands of pieces that would go into building a new home. Knobs for the cabinetry, a range hood mount for the microwave, a door jam, all these different little components that go into homes and the oddest things that aren't readily available that builders can't get because they simply aren't available. So that's the challenge that builders have. And I've watched many a building supervisor this year literally want to bang their head against the wall because this process is so different than it used to be. And, and believe me, it's as frustrating for them as it is for consumers. And it is universal across the country right now. Indiana is not unique. We are very common to the way things are across the country. Yeah, I see uh, reports that garage doors taking four to six months uh, to get uh, and doubling uh, in price. So some very uh, severe uh, conditions to be sure. Uh, Greg, as you look at the landscape out there and, and where you see things going, I don't think anyone envisions a supply chain situation improving anytime soon. If folks are building, considering building a home right now, what should they what should they think about uh, for the rest of this well, year and patience. next year? Patience is incredibly important, and most of ours has worn thin through this, the quarantine and COVID and all of that is where we are in the world right now. But it will require a lot of that. You're going to need some flexibility on your current living situation because we're not exactly sure when you're going to get in your new living situation. And to that end, many people who had drawn lines in the sand as to when they had to be in certain places were forced into some temporary housing this year, some in hotels, some into some other forms of temporary housing. Imagine spending four months in a hotel yeah. after you're coming out of a square, you know, a rather nice home with uh, pets and kids and everything else in tow. It's challenging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I want to ask you, too, about uh, we're obviously seeing uh, news of inflationary uh, pressures impacting the economy. Mortgage rates have been so attractive for so long. A lot of folks anticipate those rates are going to be going up next year. A lot of pressure on home mortgage rates, Gary, to go up. Certainly the inflationary factors, as you mentioned, that are out there. Uh, there's stories every day in the financial publications about how the federal government is going to begin to ease back some of that subsidy into the financial markets. And so we are likely, by every prediction, and inflation included, to see higher home mortgage rates in 2022. We don't believe we're going to see some eruption higher of rates, but I think that as we move through the year, 12 months from now, we're going to probably be between 45 and 5%. That's my crystal ball, sometimes not perfect, but that's a common conception right now in the finance and the home building industry. Some great perspective, as always, on the housing uh, industry, the market here in Indianapolis and around the state. Greg Cooper, as always, great to see you. I will talk to you soon. All right. Thank you, Gary. All right.